Hello everyone. Today I'm, I will explain to you how to extract the essential oil of roses. You need to install this rotor first and then the bottom tray. This barrel of roses I prepared today were sent by my customer. These roses, the net weight of roses is the total weight minus the weight of this bottle. Its net weight is about two kilograms. Actually, they are not pressed. If so, we can put more roses in it. It should contain 2.5 kilograms, but here we have more buds. These flowers are fresh. It is a blessing. This is because they were sent over. They were probably sent over yesterday and I got them today. Not bad. A whole day until now. Take away this balance. Put the lid on after putting them in place. Insert this into it after putting the lid on. See here after inserting this into it. It can rotate. Press this lid and then turn it. Okay, it is okay to lock it this way. All right, it is very simple. Then shut this door. It is a bit far, close the door. Plug it in. The power cable is on its back. Plug it in, all right then. Turn on the switch on the left. There is a controller after you turn on the switch. This is the uh, display. Then you need to click the setup. Functions like the power and temperature control. It does not matter whether you turn them on or not because the density of this flower is not big, especially for the rose. It is okay to set 30 minutes for the rose. Turn off this page and start the whole machine. There is a condensation part at the water inlet. Here is a condensation part. Below it is the water inlet. The water inlet is connected with the water pump. The water flows out of the water outlet. In this way, the water is circulated. That's to say the matching water pump and bucket are supplied with the machine. It is okay to prepare a water basin or bucket. Then there is a separator. This is the separator. This is the oil outlet. The oil outlet will work with a water pipe connected. This is the separator. On the left is the outlet of the original liquid. On the right is the outlet of essential oil. For the rose, there should be a little essential oil, but there's essential oil for sure. You can only get the essential oil with the extractor. Generally speaking, for this kind of rose, a small extractor won't work. We will see how much essential oil they will produce after a moment. Originally, the roses weighed two kilograms. It so happened they were two kilograms. We will wait and see how much essential oil they will produce and still how much original liquid to extract such flowers as the rose. No water is needed if they are fresh and the original liquid is very fragrant. It can retain the fragrant smell of this plant itself. Yes, the fragrance of the rose. We begin to extract now. Now we will see how long it takes to produce the original liquid. Look at the time. More than one minute passed. The time period is shortened slowly. If you set the time, you can go away to do other things. It is okay. The machine would shut off automatically after finishing the extraction. This is the power. You can reduce it. For example, 80, 90, and 100 are all okay. If they are dry, it can be lowered a little. If they are dry, it is okay for the power to be 80 or 90. This is the temperature. This is the temperature of the launcher. Another is a water temperature. It is the temperature of the condensed water. You can set the time by yourself. For example, you set it to be 30 minutes or 40 minutes. It will start work if you set the time. When the extraction finishes, it will shut off automatically. You can extract by a weight of one kilogram. Now let's see the size of this machine. Length, it is 63 in length, 36 inches width, and 46 inches high. Centimeter. The unit is centimeter. It is more than 100 pounds in weight, quite heavy and very sturdy. The case of the whole machine is made of stainless steel. This container is a glass one. It is environment friendly by hygienic. The theory of the whole machine. Here is a launcher. On the left is actually the launcher. It sends the ultrasonic wave over. On, the, on this side is a container. This door, what the door was opposite to just now is a container. Inside the container is the plant. Break up the plant cell wall. The liquid will come out of the cell wall. It is condensed by the water flow, water inlet and water outlet. 
the water flow condenses the vapor into water droplets. That is to say, it is not vapor. When it comes out, it is in the form of liquid. The liquid flows from this oil outlet after being cooled. Essential oil is not like this. Essential oil is vapor at the beginning, and then it is cooled. Vapor condenses into drops of water. This is different. It is in the form of liquid when coming out. The liquid is condensed by the water flow. The extracting temperature is much lower. It could be called low temperature extraction. In this way, it can retain the nature of the plant itself. Because if the temperature is too high, many ingredients will be evaporated. Or some ingredients will probably lose their functions. If temperature is too high in the course of extracting, some ingredients will probably lose their functions. For this kind of flowers, the highest temperature is probably higher than 80 Celsius, and it is the launching temperature. In fact, the plant is under a temperature of about higher than 60 Celsius. It is about 15 Celsius lower. Now, four minutes pass by. The speed is very fast. The original liquid is a liquid in a plant. Now, it can be called the cell liquid because it flows out of the cell itself. The content of plant ingredients is about 95 degrees. I'm sorry, 95%. It is a very high content. Take the original liquid of rose, for example. It is.